Hi, it's Reasonable Reviewer, and I wanted to do a review of Nils Nilsson's King of the Dice. It's by Haba, which, as many of you know, if you're into family games or Euro games, is a German company. It says that this game is for 8 to 99 years old. Uh, obviously, the upper end is entirely dependent on the person, but uh, 8 years old, I'm going to go with that. Um, a lot of times you'll hear me say, oh, well, you could play a 5 or 6. Not with this game, because it actually has some strategy to it that you need somebody who's got uh, just a little more, just a little more life experience. So 8 years old is probably about right. Here's the components for it. It comes with these six specialty dice. Now, what's special about them? They're, they're one through six, but they've also got colors. And notice that in this particular case, you know, we've got the three colors for the ones, obviously, that fits for everyone. And just for the record, uh, the ones that have the blue sixes also have the, the, the blue ones, red six, red one. So that means that out of this stack of dice, there's only one possible combination of dice that would get you two green ones, etc. So uh, that, why is that important? Well, that'll be important later on. So you've got three kinds of cards. You've got these uh, character, whoops, these need to go, yep, yeah, well. So we've got the character cards. They've got this green back to them. And then you've got building cards. Well, this is aqua, I guess, bluish aqua color. You got this kind of uh, more olive green color for the buildings. And then you've got your, your village fool cards that have this red. So what's your goal? Your goal is to accumulate points. So, and they call these village cards penalty cards and citizen cards in the parlance of it. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and it's not really an unboxing because it's unboxed, but uh, I am going to go through and show you how you set it up. So it says set up the village cards in five stacks according to the color of the front. And these are the front. So these are, this is a city card. And then we've got, looks like a workshop. Nope, these are workshop. This is a mine card. Then we've got an orc village. And then we have the enchanted forest, right? Um, so we start all of them with the twos. So you'll actually reverse the order that they come in the deck. Put the twos on top. And these are worth points, right? I mean, so the, the, the two, etc., are worth points. So you'll put those up front. Then shuffle all the citizen cards and place them face down left of that. Repeat the penalty cards and place them a little farther face up pile. So, in other words, we're going to go ahead and shuffle these. There's not many to shuffle, so we go pretty quick. Let's see. Oh, these go with the citizen cards. All right. And then we'll go ahead and put these off to the side so everybody can get at them. We're going to shuffle these citizen cards up. We have to place them face down as a draw pile. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put down one citizen in front of each of the piles. Okay, and again, this is, uh, it's random, so you actually could end up with a, a spread like this. I'm going to change a couple of these around just for illustrative purposes. So I'm going to change that to a six and I'm going to grab another random one out here. Uh, we'll change this one to this seven. All right. Then what you do is you're going to roll the dice. So what you're going to do, roll the dice, acquire a new citizen, fill up roll. So roll the dice, take the six dice, try to roll them to claim one of the face-up cards, ideally one of the highest possible number. 
you may roll a maximum of three times, so we just rolled once. After each roll, you may put as many dice aside as you would like. So, you know what, I'm going to... So you could potentially go for more than one thing, right? You could, uh, in, in fact, you know, if I roll a six on, on one of these dice, then in actuality, um, I could get that one. So I could, in, I have a chance to get either this one or, or this one. Now the question is, you already got a green. So if I roll this twice, I get to, and, and I could change my thing depending on what I get. So I got a four, so that's a blue. What does that help me out? Nothing. All right, so I got to get either a green or a six on this next roll to claim one of these. No dice, no pun intended. All right, so what does that mean? After third roll, uh, you may stop and count the number of points if desired. All right, if you fulfill the conditions of one of the face-up citizen cards, so... Let's pretend, just for way of example, that I was able to get a green. So I had a one out of three chance getting that. I would take that card, and that is now that citizen is now mine. Now, because the color of of uh, this particular citizen matched the color of that village, that means I also get to take that village card. Very important. Well, actually. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, okay. So you can kind of tell by the um, the way it tapers off there that that's the same color. This one's the same color, brown. Okay, so if they match, you get to do that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to shift all these down one, and you're going to replace the one at the far end with another card. So you see how it works? So um, you, you can potentially get two cards if one of these cards matches. Um, so there we go, establish a new village, take a penalty card. If your dice roll does not fulfill the requirement, then you need to take the top penalty card. All right. So this is one of my relatives, by the way. If you, if you look at relatives in the Middle Ages, this is what my guys looked like. So if, you're, if you, you risk it, you're going to potentially get a penalty card at the other end of it. Then you fill up that row of players. There's now an empty space. You fill that end of the game. The end of the game soon as one of you takes the last card from one of the following card stacks. Citizen draw pile, that's this one. A stack of penalty cards, more likely. <laughs> or one of the village stacks, so one's the last hit. And then you just add up the points. And that's the whole game. So uh, very straightforward, uh, very straightforward. Um, there's uh, no... There's not a mechanic for messing somebody else over in this game, which I really like, which makes it great for family games. That's always contentious if you've got this possibility to take the card that this person needs, and and that's that. So, um, yeah, really fun game. It takes a little... The, the only complexity to it... I mean, I love the fact that you're deciding uh, what you're going to go for, Right. The only complexity is, um, and I'm going to create a little play aid for my gaming group. I haven't played with the gaming group yet, to be honest. I think they'll love it, though. Uh, I'm going to create a little play aid that talks about what these different symbols mean. But aside from that, I say five stars. Uh, really a lovely game. Very straightforward. I can see where we have terrific replay value. And uh, I'm, I'm extremely impressed with this. Five stars.